Welcome to the Trucker Josh vlog page, where you can follow me and my best friend Diesel day by day as we travel across all of Canada and the United States. This is real reality TV coming at you on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button and follow our journey. Good morning everybody, we're leaving Appleton, Wisconsin, headed down to Delavan, Wisconsin, picking up from where we left off in yesterday's vlog. Welcome back. This van just to our right here, oh she's exiting the freeway, yes! Your van has cruise control! Someone needs to tell her, she doesn't know. Man, 10 minutes, speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down. And she was in the center lane, so I'd go to the right lane, try to pass her, she turned into the right lane. I'd go to the center lane, try to pass her, she turned into the center lane. It's like she was messing with me. Anyway, she's gone now. It's a new day. How's it going, guys? We're gonna go pick up some kind of generator, I think, down in Delavan, I, I think. Something, and that's going up to Fort Francis, Ontario, which is about a full day's drive north from here, just across the border into Canada, straight north of Wisconsin. And from there, apparently, I have a reload in Kenora, Ontario, that's taking me back to Indiana. So that is the plan. For now, we are rushing to get down to our shipper to make sure that we have plenty of time to get there, get loaded, get tied down, and get moving again. Thanks for joining. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. The channel's Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe, all right? It helps me out a lot if you do that. This is Fort Atkin, Fort Atkinson, Fort Atkin, Wisconsin. Just about to our reload. I think it's the next town over. It's an old, old historic district here. Pretty cool. Now, I wish I had my motorcycle with me. I would just love to cruise around these old towns, take a look at everything. There is a way of doing that, but this truck doesn't have the space for it. Maybe one day if I ever get the truck I want, I can add a motorcycle rack behind the bunk where you drive up one side and it locks in place and then you drive down the other side then I can get around places like this. Go tour it a little bit. Go check out the little shops and stuff on Main Street here. Go look at these old churches. I sure don't build them like they used to. That's beautiful. It's amazing that all the trees here are already budding. Like, well, not, not just budding, they're already like fully green. We're not that far south from Canada. Look at how green the grass is here. Wow. It's amazing how quickly the climate changes as you head south. We're like right on that line in southern Canada. We're like right on that line right before it gets better. <laughs> we get all the cold, bad weather. All right, so it's one of these guys. It's a 10-foot generator, they say. Oh, and there's a bit of a lineup back there. wonder if I just go get in the lineup, or... I'm gonna go and talk to them in the office first. Sure got a lot of these generators here. I just took one, one little one. That's it. So easy to tie down, we'll chain down. And we're on our way to Ontario. One generator. I guess whatever it takes to keep me moving, I guess. 
Oh, these guys are still working here. I wonder if I can sneak behind him or if he'll get mad. I don't really want to go through all this mud. Guess I'll just sneak behind him here. Oh, I just washed my truck. Just washed my truck. Ah. That is what it is, I guess. So that's it. That's the whole load. <laughs> I guess we'll uh, take what we can get, I guess. Hopefully this load I'm picking up in Kenora is going to be a little bit bigger than this. I can't imagine they're paying full truckload just for one generator. But if they are, hey, that's awesome. I need to find out how much this pays. They didn't tell me yet. Maybe they have a reason for that. <laughs> well, whatever their reasons are for not telling me right away is how much the load pays. Better than going empty. Because I get percentage. I, I, I like it when they tell me what to expect so I know what kind of loads to expect or what kind of pay to expect but very rarely they just send me a load offer and it doesn't have any numbers attached to it and I gotta ask them for it what is this gonna pay me are they afraid I'm gonna say no maybe a lot of drivers out there would just say no me I, as long as I keep moving if there's honestly no other better load for me to take yeah I'll take it like, I'm not gonna sit here and argue with them. I wanna keep moving. Arguing takes time. I wanna keep moving and whatever load's waiting for me in Kenora is taking me all the way to Indiana. So this will just get me into Ontario. has fallen it came pretty quick and it's cold we're up here in northern wisconsin right now and i uh, just stopped for uh, one last coffee of the night got about another two three hours to go yet depending on how far i feel i can make it and this poison ivy is making a comeback it's so itchy right now just had to put some treatment on it so that it's not as itchy so i can withstand it Keep on going down the road. It got pretty cold pretty quick up here in northern Wisconsin. Not too sure what town this is that we're in, but we're about uh, 180 or 150 miles south of Fort Francis in Wisconsin. A lot of these trucks are Canadian trucks here. Can I get out this way? I've never been here before. I think I can go this way. I mean, it's so dark back here, they got no lights. Besides these bright neon blue lights. Okay, there we go. All right, let's continue. Got a bit of a long way to go yet. I'd like to get into Canada so that I don't have to st stop for as long of a night. In the US here, we have to stop for a 10 hour rest break for night. In Canada, you only have to stop for eight hours. Let's see what we can do.
This is Duluth, Minnesota. We just crossed out of Wisconsin into Minnesota here. I'm guessing we're gonna cross back into Wisconsin very soon. I think. Oh wait, no, we're not crossing from Wisconsin into Ontario. We're crossing from Minnesota into Ontario. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah, this is Duluth, Minnesota. Wisconsin, you guys need to do some hunting. Some deer hunting. There has been a lot of deer down this road tonight. I'm going about another 10, 15 minutes down the road and I'm pulling off into a rest area. Had to hit the brakes a couple of times already. Two deer jumped on the road right in front of me. I've seen dozens in the ditches already on both sides. There's another one on the right. I don't know if the camera picked that up or not. Looks like I've found a truck stop here. A little earlier, a little sooner than uh, that rest area. I have no idea where we are or what town this is, but hey, this is our home for tonight. I see a couple of trucks parked back here. Yep, I'm gonna park back here too. Too many deer on the road. There's too many deer. I know, Diesel. I know. We're gonna sleep here tonight. Oh, so I've come to the conclusion that what I have is not poison ivy, it is poison oak. I have it covered with uh, calamine lotion right now, so it looks disgusting. You see how it's pussing nonstop? I have to keep dabbing it clean. Now that I know that it's poison oak, uh, it's pretty much the same as poison ivy. It's just a little bit more severe. It's a little bit, it pusses like this. Uh, poison ivy doesn't necessarily puss. It could blister up, but poison oak, it's like it sweats. It's almost like this little part of my arm is just sweating all day, constantly beating out. And then it like drips off if I don't dab it clean. I know it's a little disgusting, but uh, it might get a little worse tomorrow yet before it gets better. It usually goes downhill or goes uphill. However, that's that downhill uphill debate again that we had when we were in uh, <laughs> Saskatoon there. Uh, why is my idle not going up? There it is. Uh, so it could get worse yet. Usually it takes about a week for it to reach its peak. And then it usually disappears after that. At the most, it could last two weeks. So we're on day what now? When did we transplant those trees? On Thursday, right? So it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We're on day four right now. So six, seven. Probably about another three days of this yet. My body is usually pretty good at fighting things off. Uh, I've pretty good health. I've been blessed with really good health in my life, and I'm thankful for that. So, uh, but my body should be able to fight it off uh, within the next few days. But it's like it just develops big blisters, and then they just ooze. It's not even that itchy. This part here isn't itchy. It's the little bumps all around it that I have calamine lotion on. It looks like paint. <laughs> that part's itchy if I don't have the lotion on it. But with the lotion on it, it's not so bad. And it's not contagious at this point either. All of this, uh, the, the pus oozing out of here and the, the, the rash itself is not contagious at this point. It's only contagious when you have the oil directly off the plant, leaves, stem, or roots. And I got it off the roots because we dug up underneath those trees and obviously there was some poison oak roots in there and I went underneath it with short sleeve shirts like a moron and picked up those trees and carried them and put them on the back of the truck and then put them, like we as we transplanted them and obviously I like picked it up right by the poison oak root. So I'm lucky that it's only here. It's only on my arm. It's not on my face, not on my neck. It's not on my legs. It's not on genitals or anything like that. Not on my feet. It's just, the, the worst of it is right here. And then the rest of this is just little itchy bumps. I got little itchy bumps down the side here and everything too. Not, not too bad, but that is the worst part right there. And that's not too bad of a spot to have it. If you think about it, I can hold my steering wheel. I can 
go about my day without really noticing it because this part here isn't itchy it's just annoying that it oozes it's gross but other than that I feel great I feel fine I'll get past it whatever it's not that bad it looks worse than it is I've had it once before in my life I've had poison oak once before then I had it everywhere I had it all over my feet and everything I was a kid back then but yep so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it in gauze for night again Whew. I wish it would just dry out already but and my body will do its thing my immune system will do its thing and we'll see how it is tomorrow I've got to go to bed here though uh, tomorrow we've got to deliver this early in the morning just over the border or about an hour away we're still here in Minnesota. There's way too many deer on and around the highway for me to continue through the night now. There's no way I'm risking hitting a deer. I don't got a moose bumper or anything on the front of this truck. If I hit a deer, that's a $5,000 deductible that I gotta pay. Like the first $5,000 of the damage is mine. I don't really have $5,000 just to throw away at a deer that I can't even eat anyways. Wouldn't even feel right eating it because I didn't even really catch it, I just hit it. Anyway, have a good night, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Tomorrow will be another new day. We're headed into Canada and over across to Kenora and around by home again. And uh, I'll update you on my poison oak tomorrow. Have any of you had poison oak before? Poison ivy? Let me know down below in the comment section and let me know how you what you use to uh, treat it. I'm using calamine lotion and uh, everyone I know pretty much is telling me to use apple cider vinegar. I don't have any with me right now, otherwise I would be using it because everybody's telling me to use that. So uh, other than those two things, is there any other treatments that you guys know of that, that helps, especially with the oozing? By the time you watch this, it'll already all be gone, but the next time I get it, because we're gonna transplant more trees. No, I'm not going to stop working in the bush just because I got poison ivy once. Where do you think I am? We're going back in there. We're going to transplant some more. Just I learned my lesson. Next time, long sleeves, gloves, cover all your skin, and don't touch yourself on your face or anything. Just get the job done. Throw everything you used in the wash with hot water and soap. Get in the shower. Cool water and soap. Hot water spreads the oil. I'm gonna use cool water and soap. I'm rambling. See you in the morning. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Tomorrow will be fun.